All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt Shop. So today, I'm going to show y'all how to rewind the recoil starter for your chainsaw. All right, y'all, so when it's time to replace your pull cord, please just don't go to Home Depot and get that cheap stuff that's like what's on this tiller. Go to the links in the description, go to a steel parts dealer, and get the right stuff. You know, I'll hopefully I'll find some really high quality stuff and link it to y'all so you don't have to drive all over the place. But uh, some quick tips for putting this stuff back on your uh, recoil assembly. Now these things are always a pain in the you know what. But luckily still is smart. They're smart over there, right? So all you got to do is wind it up. And you don't want to wind it up too much. Now, I'm sure there's some certified still technique of doing this, but you know what? I don't know how to do it their way, so we're going to do it my way. What you do is you wind it all the way up, you know, and then back off just a little bit because you don't want to put too much tension on that spring and snap it. And then with it wound up, you're going to want to take the end of the new pull cord and your lighter and you want to melt it right without melting your fingers you want to melt it and form it into a tip then what we're going to do is everybody knows how to do this I hope feed it through here and now I'm not going to do this on camera I'm not going to sit here for 20 minutes trying to do this because it's it's so easy I mean what you can do is, there's about two different ways to do this. Feed it through this way, and get something sharp in there, and pull it out, and stuff it back out through here. Okay? Or you can put it through here, and then get it back. Now this way is going to be way harder, it looks like. So, you see, well, maybe not. It went right through. You get a little pick and get in there. Um, hold on, let me grab my pick. All right, so I got my pick. And you're just gonna get in there with a little pick. There you go. And pull it through. And then it's really important when you, when you do this, you wanna make sure that that, uh, end is, is burnt, is melted, so that it doesn't fray. Now I'm just going to tie a knot in this, and the knot's got to be able to fit down in there, so we're going to have to tie a small ass knot. I don't know if this stuff's going to cinch up that small. Ah, uh, I don't know dude. Well, I guess that's good. Make sure that this doesn't interfere with anything. That, that Make sure it doesn't stick up and stuff and interfere with anything. But now what you can do is... You always got to find which way it pulls in, right? So... So you got to find which way to wind it, right? So when you pull on it like that, it wants to pull back in like that. So that means you got to have tension on it. this way clockwise so what you do is pull this rope out Hell, you could even grab this and spin it around wind it up don't get it too tight because you don't want to mess anything up that spring or anything and this is gonna kill your hands I'm telling you dude I've, re I've rewound lawnmower ones all this kind of stuff and it kills and it sucks to work on I know it does but yeah there you go it's done it takes two seconds I mean that's how fast it was on lawnmowers some of them they have those huge like on that tiller I had to redo it huge flat spring you had to put in there and wind it around and wind it around and keep it flat and then it goes boing and it pops out of place 
I mean, it just sucks. Like, it really does. I'm sorry, but it does. But yeah. Um. Alright, so now all you have to do is put the handle back on here. And I just got mine. All you do is take it off the old piece. And just feed it through, really. It's so hard to do this behind the camera. Okay, it comes out the top. And then it comes out this little hole. Uh. All right, so finally I got it in there and this thing's all ready to go. All we gotta do is tie it up. Just one nice knot. Just like that. Pull on it. And this thing is good, dude. Pull on it. She's good, so. That's how you rewind one of these chainsaw ones. Now you can, you can measure out the old length like that and uh, use that. I don't know how long this was. It was like 32 or 36, probably way too long, but I would rather have extra than not enough, right? So I just went with whatever he cut. I think it was three feet. So he cut me three feet and I just put that in here. And then uh, if I have problems, you know, I'll just pull it out cut a couple inches off, six inches or whatever, and then we'll be good. So that's how you rewind one of these things. You can measure it, like I said, like that. Um, you can do that to get it close, but you see it got pulled out. The inner That's the inner part right there, got pulled out and all messed up. So maybe like 32 or something, I don't know, is probably what it was. But one last tip for when you're mounting this stuff. This is disgusting. You can see it's absolutely filthy in there, right? All right, so you might want to check your gap, your ignition coil gap while you got all this stuff off of here. And the number one thing I want you to do is, especially up in these cooling fins, is get in there with some air and clean it out. All right, y'all, so let's crank this thing up and see if it's a good length. a little less than three feet now because it's tied up on both ends but let's see if it's good this thing should be warm about three feet like I said like I keep saying but uh yeah it feels great it's not about before before it was about like that but uh, you know how it goes when you crank on it and it hits and it hits and you know you're gonna break something yeah pull short pull cord is not fun so this is perfect Now, if you have an MS-044, uh, 066, um, 440, 660, you know, one of the bigger saws, I don't know if they have more cord 
on the um, little recoil spool but for this saw this is an MS 250 this is the perfect length at least it's gonna have to be because it's working good and that's how I'm gonna leave it so All right, y'all, thanks for watching. If y'all enjoyed this video, which I know you did, don't forget to check out the links in the description because I'll link y'all up to some super high quality uh, pull cord so you don't have to search all over the place for it and I'll find a big roll of this stuff and link y'all up to it in the description. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more small engine repair videos while y'all are at it. Later.